Hello, welcome to the CEO DG and La YouTube channel. Are you willing to learn thought-provoking and amazing five interesting general knowledge question answers dated 9th August 2022? Here I am going to start today's interesting quiz questions. Are you ready? You can see the first quiz question here. Ben Stokes recently played his final ODI at Durham against which team? Very interesting question and also feeds through the cricket lovers and as well as those who are appearing for different competitive exams. Ben Stokes recently played his final ODI at Durham against which team? Here the options are New Zealand, West Indies, South Africa, Pakistan. Which one you are guessing? If your guest answer is uh, the third one, that is South Africa, then you are right. I am adding some interesting info about Ben Stokes. Benjamin Andrew Stokes. This is the full name of Ben Stokes. Benjamin Andrew Stokes. He was born on 4th June 1991 in uh, Christ Church, New Zealand. He is an English cricketer who is uh, the captain of the England Test team and plays for the England 2020 international team. In domestic cricket, uh, he represents Durham and has played uh, in multiple 2020 leagues including the Indian Premier League playing for Rising Pune, Super Giant and uh, Rajasthan Royals. He made his uh, T20 I debut in 2011, his uh, test debut in 2013 and played for England's uh, one day international team from 2011 before retiring from the format in uh, July 2022. He was named uh, the Wisden leading cricketer in the world in 2019 and 2020. He was appointed a captain of uh, England's test team in uh, April 2022. So, Ben Stokes uh, recently played uh, his final ODI at Durham against uh, South Africa. So, I am clicking on third option South Africa. So, keep it up came here, that's right. And moving to the second question. Tulsi Das Jr. recently won the best Hindi film honor at uh, the National Film Awards. This was whose last film? Repeating the question, Tulsi Das Jr. recently won the best Hindi film honor at the National Film Awards. This was whose last film? Here the options are Rajiv Kapoor, Rishi Kapoor, Sheshi Kapoor, Ranadhir Kapoor. Whom are you guessing? If your guest answer is uh, Rajiv Kapoor, then you are right. I am adding some more info about uh, Tulsi Das Jr. as well as Rajiv Kapoor. Tulsi Das Jr. is a 2022 Indian Hindi language coming of age sports film written and uh, directed by Mridil Mahendra, who based it uh, on his own life and childhood. Produced jointly by Bhushan Kumar and uh, Krishan Kumar and uh, T series films along with uh, Sunita Govarikar and uh, co screenwriter Ashutosh Govarikar in his uh, first production only venture under uh, Ashutosh Govarikar Productions. The film stars Sanjay Dutt, Rajiv Kapoor, Dalip Tahil, and uh, Debutant Varun Buddhadev in the lead roles, marking Kapoor's final and posthumous release followed his death in 2021 February, while Ankur Vikal Chinmay Chandrashuf, Tasveer Kamil, and Sara Arjun play supporting roles. Kapoor had uh, a heart attack and uh, died during the early hours of 9th February 2021. 
his uh, last film was uh, Tulsidas Jr. So, Tulsidas Jr. recently won the best uh, Hindi film honor at uh, the National Film Awards. Uh, this was uh, the last uh, film of uh, Rajiv Kapoor. So, I am clicking on first option, Rajiv Kapoor. So, that side came here. And moving to the third question. India has recently signed a memorandum of understanding, MOU in short it is called, with which country to reintroduce the cheetah in the country? Very interesting question. Repeating, India has recently signed a memorandum of understanding with which country to reintroduce the cheetah in the country? Here the options are Kenya. Tanzania, Namibia, Ghana. Which country you are guessing? If you are guessing, the answer is uh, the third one, that is uh, Namibia, then you are right. Uh, I am adding some more info. India and Namibia signed uh, a memorandum of uh, understanding, MOU, to reintroduce uh, African cheetahs uh, in uh, India. The MOU was uh, signed by Union Minister, Union Minister for Environment, Forest and Climate Change, Bhupender Yadav and the Deputy Prime Minister and Foreign Minister of Namibia, Netumbo Nandi Daitwa in New Delhi and also covers cooperation on wildlife conservation and Sustainable Biodiversity Utilization. So, India has recently signed a memorandum of understanding with Namibia country to reintroduce the cheetah in the country. So, I am clicking on third option Namibia. So, that side came here and moving to the fourth question and also first image. Look at the image. What I have seen here, Uber, UBER, Uber. Who among these was a founder of this company? Very interesting question because you know about the Uber, but very few know about the founder. Repeating the question, who among these was a founder of this company? Here the options are Ralph Lauren, Garrett Camp, Ankit Bhati. Brian Chesky, whom are you guessing? If you are guessing, the answer is uh, the second one that is uh, Garrett Camp, then you are right. Uh, I am going to share some interesting info how Uber started uh, and about Uber Technologies. Uh, Uber Technologies INC, in short, uh, Uber is an American mobility as a service provider allowing users to book a car and a driver to transport them in a way similar to a taxi. It is based in San Francisco with operations in approximately 72 countries and 10,500 cities in 2021. In 2009, Uber was founded as Uber Camp by Garrett Camp, a computer programmer and the co-founder of StumbleUpon and Travis Kalanik, who sold his uh, red swoosh startup for, for 19 US million dollars in 2007. After Camp and his friends spent uh, 800 US dollars uh, hiring a private driver, he wanted to find a way to reduce the cost of uh, direct transportation. He realized that uh, sharing the cost with uh, people could make it uh, affordable and uh, his idea morphed uh, into Uber. This is uh, the interesting story how Uber emerged uh, or started. So, the founder of uh, Uber company is uh, Garrett Camp. So, I am clicking on second option Garrett Camp. So, the site right, came here. And moving to the final question, that is fifth and also second image of today's quiz question, sir. This is a very interesting question. Look at the image. 
which of these was uh, one of the initial names of uh, this airline before changing to its uh, present day name so how many members can know it what have seen this in the images air india repeating which of these was uh, one of the initial names of this airline before changing to its present na day name here the options are uh, indian air alien air tata airlines deccan air which one you are guessing if your guess answer is the third one that is uh, tata airlines then you are right i am adding some more info air india He is uh, the flag carrier airline of India, headquartered at uh, New Delhi. It is owned by Talas Private Limited, a special purpose vehicle (SPV) of uh, Tata Sons. After Air India Limited's uh, former owner, the government of India completed uh, the sale. Air India operates a fleet of Airbus and uh, Boeing aircraft serving. 102 domestic and international destinations the airline has its hub at indira gandhi international airport new delhi alongside several focus cities across india the airline was founded by jrd tata as a tata airlines in 1932 this is an interesting thing tata himself flew its flight first single engine d haviland pers moth carrying uh, air mail from karachi's uh, drig road uh, aerodrome to bombay's juhu aerodrome and the latter continuing to madras that is currently chennai after world war 2 it became a public limited company and was renamed as uh, air india so Tata Airlines was uh, one of the initial names of uh, this uh, Air India before changing to its present day name. So I am clicking on Tata Airlines. So I think uh, most of your guest answers right. Keep learning, enhance or widen dynamic learning skills by watching this video. Those who truly wishes to enhance the knowledge, keep learning. So Tata Airlines. So that side came here. Dhanyawad. Thank you. If you like this video, do like, subscribe and share. See you in the next one. Bye bye.